Much respect, guys. How you doing? Quite fearless. Here, Sunday afternoon, and it's one o'clock. <laughs> and uh, my date got canceled, so I'm <laughs> here. No, um, but um, I, I wasn't sure what to do today, so I wanted to get into arm balance. So um, arm balance, we're going to strengthen the hands and the wrist. Okay. So the main thing that that I think this one's going to really benefit you guys too, because I know a lot of people talk about their wrists having issues with the wrists. Okay. So we want to strengthen the wrists, and I want to talk about a few different things, a couple different pointers as far as the hands go. Okay. We really need to stretch our hands more because what happens is that just if you don't think about it, if you don't aren't attuned to your hands, or just look at your hand real quick. I mean, I've done a lot of work with the hands, especially in yoga. I mean, your position is your base, right? Uh, so when we're doing an arm balance, your hands now become your feet. And think about, like we talk about our feet, strengthening the feet and being unaware of the feet. And when the feet are out of alignment, well, then everything else kind of falls apart. Your knees, your hips, your low back, and everything like that. Uh, so go back and look at leg day, and, and you can check that if you, if you missed that. But um, right now we're talking about the hands and the wrists. So I want to strengthen the hands and the wrists, and I want to do what I call hand push-up or palm push-ups. Oh, I should have put them in there. Palm push-ups, okay? So palm push-ups are if you put your hands to the ground, you can be just on your knees real quick or sit, or, you know, however you need. Well, yeah, you should be on your knees, of course. So you should be on your knees and... Um, um, or also too, what I do is in down dog, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just lift your palms off the ground, and notice how that stretches your fingers, and then you put your weight back down. Okay, so you can do it from your knees, like just doing like that. That's real gentle. Okay, but you obviously want to get stronger because you know if you're just doing like this until the day you die, well you're probably gonna die sooner because you haven't challenged yourself. So it's so a challenge. Get in there. You know, press into the the index finger into the pinky and uh, and then do a couple palm push-ups so let's do that real quick spread the fingers nice and wide spread the fingers as wide as you can you really want to stretch them stretch them out and feel that stretching of the web and remember the the meridian channels the meridian line we've got uh, a heart in the pinky line the thumb is the lungs and then we've got pericardium in the middle and don't quote me on the other two I think large intestine and liver but um, or maybe that stomach I think that stomach is spleen and this is a uh, large intestine. But anyway, stretch the fingers, open the hands up, make sure that your fingers are stretching too, because that's gonna help with your consciousness. Strengthen your hands too and your wrists. My mom, for instance, mom, you, you know, you wanna strengthen your wrists. Okay, we're gonna do a couple different things too, remember? So, so for, first of all, we're pressing into our hand and right, right hands, and right away, this is stretching the wrist. Do it real quickly, we'll, we'll do a couple stretches first before we go into everything else. But turn your palms over like this and stretch the wrist. Inhale, breathe into the palms, to the forearms, to the shoulders, side to side. Here in a tabletop position. Okay. And then as we uh, bring our hands back around, you're going to go thumbs down, pinkies high to stretch the wrist. And you know, kind of pressing the thumb there, the thumb on the top. And then pinkies down, thumbs high. So thumbs down, pinkies high. Pinkies down, thumbs high. And stretch the uh, the radius, the uh, what are those, the supinators. Turning the wrist up, palm up, stretching the finger up like that. Okay. And uh, and then lastly, make sure to kind of stretch the knuckles there too. Press into the, the thumbs, and the fingers. I was doing this in my car car earlier uh, is stretching reaching out the window and just palm stretching this way so you can do a, a good stretch it's a really good Tai Chi stretch where you're just pressing through the palm feel that activate the meridian channels and uh, tendons and then lean your head away then start to activate the hands and wrists by flexing your palm and fingers while your hand is pushed away you should feel a stretching of the wrist stretching of the shoulder inhale expand really feel that stretch in the hand and that's going to really instill more energy more chi natural good chi index finger and uh, middle finger okay and then you can do the other side inhale press through the palm look away shake your head no yes and no
keep pressing through the palm, stretching through the uh, the long gong or the this energy point here is a pretty pericardium point as well, up the middle into the middle finger. But the palm very energetic healing point in Tai Chi using okay, so it's that center, that healing center, long gong. Okay, so now we're gonna press into the floor and we're gonna activate everything going up and strengthen the wrist. So going back to our palm push-ups, let's go do a couple more of those palm push-ups. Should feel a little bit easier, less of a stretch, of course. And then up onto your fingers and down. Start to pick your feet up if you can. Maybe that's hard for you. I know for some of you. Okay. And yeah, that's it. That's our palm push-ups. Maybe it's harder. I think it's harder. Probably harder this way. Yeah, it's definitely harder when you bring your feet back. Or if your knees, maybe from your knees, bring your knees back. Try to lift up and just support yourself with your fingers. Or just stay up there like this and stretch. Okay. Palm push-ups. Feel it in your index finger. Press through your index fingers, through your pinkies. All right. I know it's a little ridiculous. A lot of the exercises I do are kind of ridiculous. Like this morning's the flying breath, but really good stuff to strengthen those little subtle muscles. Pressing through the thumb and the index finger. Your single arm, maybe that feels better, or press through the palm, the thumb. Up onto the fingers, finger push-ups, and now we're doing finger push-ups. All right, so that's that's it. We need to strengthen the hands, we need to strengthen the wrists, and that's, that's about it. Because once that happens, everything else is going to be solid going up. And then all the other muscles start to activate through. But if you don't have, don't have your hands, you never have that balance. So get the get the hands. A lot of, a lot of times, a lot of times I've seen people they really grip with their fingers and trying to hold. But if you would just do these finger push-ups, I think we would have a better support, stronger fingers, stronger wrists. So pretty simple, palm push-ups. Two, three. Do about four, five. Uh, 50, I don't know, 50 a day or something. I don't know how many we're doing right now, it's burning. And with every exercise you do, you always wanna to get to that burning point. Because that's where you're changing the structure of your body, your bones. All right, <laughs> that's good right there. Shake the hands out. You need to stretch the wrists again, thumbs down, pinkies high. Pinkies down, thumbs high. Press into the knuckles and shake it out. All right, so maybe you're on carpet, maybe you're on floor, maybe you're on concrete, I don't know. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, find what works for you. That, that right there was a lot of work on the wrist. So I don't know, give me a thumbs up if you thought that was a lot of work on the wrist and the hands. I thought that was pretty cool. Nice, we got four, four with us now. Let me know if you can hear me too. Hopefully I'm speaking up to sell me out there uh, but yeah this is a real big one this is a good one I'm gonna be sharing it this video now just because of that exercise I included or I have to make it a separate video where I'll call palm push-ups but I gotta trademark that <laughs> trademark that palm push-ups really work the fingers the thumbs off the the, the the index finger maybe just the three if that's really where you want to work you know you can kind of feel what you need you know everybody's different so Feel where you want to strengthen. All right, to the outer edges. Push-ups, now like here, okay. So we're really getting that full strength out of the hand. I just made, I wanted to make that a real big point. Okay, you, maybe you've been doing about 50 of those right now. You're doing different spots, hopefully. Pressing into the floor, Look, I like this one. And like into the thumb. That's real good for that stretch coming up. And then it can drop down into the shoulder. 
as long as you have that pressure on the floor, you can really feel how it strengthens every tendon going up. Okay? Okay. So, with that being said, we've got our hands and our wrist out of the way, right? We've got that all down. You come back to this. This is one that you really want to get down because um, by you having your hands like this, this really opens up the whole forearm. Remember the lungs and the heart, which is sadness and hatred and unforgiveness and, and stuff like that. We want to have forget. We want to be lighthearted and loving and, uh, and uh, strength and confidence opposed to sadness and grief. And remember, so that's all on our arms, right? We've got lung meridians and large intestine meridian on the outside of the arm which functions across the thumb and this uh, upper ulnar, uh, ulnar bone and what is this, pronator muscle, excuse me, um, pronator longus. And um, so yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and go back into stretching. So we're coming back up. So now we've got the hand strong, we've got the wrist strong. Okay, the elbows are gonna rotate in. This is another point to always remember. Okay, elbows rotate inward and that activates the inner arm because otherwise right now if I'm just relaxed I'm working across the shoulder and it's a lot of anterior and you can feel kind of a little bit of this tricep uh, this upper tricep and I feel a little bit of my lats engaged in the upper shoulder but if I rotate inward inward engage your whole rib cage your abs your serratus your obliques by squeezing the elbows in and then even rotating those wrists in like that is going to give us that whole lower core section that we need that balance so we can hold ourselves midair. See, I'm getting better. All right. Getting a little bit better, right? Okay, so let's keep moving. But we're going to go into a, just a regular, um, let's go into a pro. So sit back in, in here. We'll, you know, the pro is like the first one that most people really want to get down. Okay, so when you're in crow, we're rotating our elbows inward, and then we can set our knees on top of our triceps. So set, set on top of there. It's gonna hurt at first, but that's again building the bone structure that you need in your arms. And it's also tearing up all those muscle fibers of that arm and that back arm and stuff. Okay, so really get your arm up in there, and that's gonna help tone all this stuff up, ladies, gentlemen. Um, so yeah, you won't have that. That'll go, go away once you put your knee in there. Look at that. Just rub it away rub your arms away rub them stronger okay and then boom then you can start to lift up okay so we're going to start in this crow pose now crow right away you just want to be able to have your hands down fingers spread wide okay and then rotate the elbows in okay and then rest your knee onto your arm try to get it above your above your your elbow and for you guys that are more advanced please thank you for your patience because I know that some of you are watching. I have a lot of clients that it takes a while to get this down. So I just really want to like make, make it a point to talk to you and work with you here. And just keep doing this. Just keep doing it with me. Just keep getting it there. One foot first. Boom. Back down. You can come up like that. Put that hand down. And then, okay, let's bring the other foot up. Other foot up. Try to touch your butt with it. Okay. See how we're contracting. We're squeezing. We're pumping blood in the body. Shh. Exhale. Shh. Maybe you can do both. Breathe. Maybe you're like sliding off. Oh, try to get back up there, that's okay. Maybe you can get both. Maybe you're more advanced there, you can touch here. Try to lift your feet up to your butt, heels to your butt. Head up, looking forward. Breathe. Grip your fingers, spread out, and come back and rest. Hang out, forward, forward. Shake the wrists out. It, it hurts the wrist. Trust me, we're hurting it every time. So if it hurts right now, don't run away. Because you'll never get stronger that way, you know? You'll get stronger at running away. <laughs> and then you just run away from everything. Until you freaking realize years later. So, so just face everything. You gotta face it all. Face the fear. That's what we're here for. Fight fearless, you know? Um, get into your body, okay? So that's our basic crow pose. We've got some twists. We can work on that stuff tomorrow. Today I wanted to just get the strengthening the hands and the wrists in because that's the basis to the, to the whole thing, okay? 
and we've done crow a little bit that's uh, that's really working a lot of core it's really working a lot of core so i know some of you you're like i got all this fat here you know i can't touch nico you're you know but um but bro uh, sis how are you gonna get rid of it unless you freaking chop it down you know you gotta you, the tree's not gonna go away until you chop that's not a good example because trees are good love trees they're loving you they're giving they're, they're your life so all right let's get it in let's try one more time here in our arm balance you know what i like to do as well is if we're kind of up here get us, get in there get in there get small get tiny elbows rub them around your thighs right because you want to get that low you want to have that ability, okay? Just keep working. You're sweating. You're in and in, in, in there, okay? All right. So knees into the el uh, uh, knees into the armpit, hands down to the ground. Remember, lift one up off. Again, maybe you're lower. I'm up here. I'm just getting trying to show you where we're going. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pick that other foot up. If you can hold here and you're holding, then that's cool. You can also put one foot down. But I want you to try to extend one leg back. Touch the floor and come back to that position. So you can put that foot down. Let's do that like that. Extend out, touch, and come back to your elbow. Put the foot down. Foot up, balancing. Inhale, touch. Exhale. We can switch the breath if you want to see. So let's see what our breath's like. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, closing. Shake it out. All right. Strengthening the hands, you know. One's going to feel stronger than the other. One's going to feel, you know. Breathe. Relax. Okay. So we did that little exercise there, the extension. Here's another one. I got one more. No, it's still a little different. Kind of is the same thing. Let's see. No, I don't, I don't know about that one. Because we were, I was right here, excuse me, while I just figure out what I'm doing here. Boom. That's different. Okay. That's not arm balance. Let's do one more thing, though. I want to do a couple planche push ups with you just to really make sure we stretch and strengthen the wrist here. So let's finish out with some. Uh, Working a little bit more into this position, so palms, fingers, stretched, okay, and then now come forward, hips down, all the way down to the floor, then readjust, try to keep your elbows in, we want them closer, closer to our core, the tighter we get to our core, the tighter we become, so exhale and squeeze the elbows in and push up if you can, maybe it's like this, or try to pick up the belly first, belly in, and push up. Okay, so the belly stays tight, and drop down. Inhale, lift the chest, you can even maybe like up dog a little bit, exhale, pull the belly in, push back, and stretch the wrist at the same time. Let's do uh, those two, let's go to 10. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly in, stretch, and continue. Two, three, four, five. That's five right there. Six, seven, maybe you want to pick a foot up. Eight, make sure to pull the belly in. Nine. Switch my angle just a little bit. And this is 10. Belly in. Okay. Shit, let's see if we can lift those both. Can we lift both of those legs? Can I? Let's see. Maybe you can, maybe. Some of you guys out there, I know you can. Some of you guys are strong. Been doing this already long than I have, so here we go. Put down, let's try to pick up both legs. You got one leg up, maybe you're trying to, but maybe you're, maybe you're like this though. Maybe you're one knee down, but one foot up. Look at that, and that's working your glutes back there too. So working your butt, kick through the heel, legs straighten up, feel that squeeze of the glutes. Boom. 
Belly in. Belly in, even keeping that leg so it's like glutes tight, but belly in. And that's gonna strengthen everything. Two, there you go. Call that five. Let's do another five with the other leg up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I gotta lean forward on that one. Ooh, I see you guys there. Leaning forward. Ooh, that's one. That's maybe maybe we'll get it on the arm balance three. Give me two. Give me two more days. We'll see where we're at tomorrow. Maybe we can do it tomorrow. I can definitely hold it with my arms bent and elbows in, which is another kind of yoga thing too. And do a hit one here. We'll work on that stuff tomorrow. I think that's good on the wrist for now. I mean, that's good enough for me, so should be good enough for you. So, you know, let them rest. The stretching before, I think, is more important than even the stretching afterwards. So just kind of like chill, let them recover. You know, you can, yeah, we'll, we'll breathe into them. Just do one more breath here. Press into the thumbs, palms, pinkies, thumbs high. Uh, yeah. Take that back. It's good to stretch out twice. Make sure to breathe. I would have done it after <laughs> after it closed down, so. Okay. But you know how to heal your hand and you know how to destroy it so that it gets stronger. You know how to strengthen it, okay? So strengthen the hand, strengthen the wrist. I think that covers everything. Those palm push-ups are pretty much it. Um, but we'll work on more tomorrow, so come back. Tomorrow, subscribe, subscribe with us on YouTube, please. Um, hit my face on something. Uh, yeah, laughing. <laughs> laughing and I freaking hit my head. Uh, on a bench. Watching The Office. Uh, and the, and at that episode where you're doing the CPR, uh, Dwight's doing CPR. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I hit my head. Uh, that's it guys much respect thank you again so I'll see you guys later see you tomorrow for more breath work in the morning 9 a.m. and uh, and then 1 o'clock we'll be working on this again so uh, yeah I think you'll be good by tomorrow we're doing yoga we're not doing weight training so you don't need to take two to three days of rest you'll be good by tomorrow and uh, we'll stretch and we'll strengthen and I'll see you again thanks Mike and thanks everybody else on, on uh, YouTube over there three over here on Facebook you guys are awesome too as well. I'm gonna put the link down below so you guys can go over to uh, YouTube and subscribe with us there. So you can check out all the other videos that we've done and we've been doing over the past month during this whole lockdown. So you can do all this stuff at home. And uh, please do be sure to go to fightfearless.com. Get yourself a shirt, maybe not a green one. I don't know, maybe unless you like, unless you like the green ones here. Get yourself your free meal plan, which is, uh, you can just subscribe put your email in and i will send you my meal plan the meal plan that 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 i lost 10 pounds 15 pounds before a fight that i used for a fight so that's a fight fearless meal plan uh and that's it and yeah oh a dollar just a dollar download my app you got a whole bunch of, a bunch of videos that we did a couple of years back we'll be uploading a whole bunch of other stuff when i've got breath work on there too that we've done recently so all the breath work is on on the app uh, uh more yoga flows a full yoga flow so, and that, those are good to do, like, if you want to do it at nighttime before bed, you can go there, uh, download the app, and check it out there. And, uh, yeah, fight fearless in the app store. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.